right, this is a weekly reading for Gemini. Uh, so I have some charms. They're actually part of my meditation. I call any shape, um, item that I meditate on or meditate about a charm because it sets in motion different feelings and things. Um, I will be reading that at the end with the channel messages and all of that jazz. Um, anyway, so your writing prompt for the week is going to be non-human character. It could be anything from your dog to your cat to primordial, primordial being. Um, but yeah, it's anything that you can possibly think about. Uh, uh, this prompt actually puts into your mind how you see yourself in a third person point of view um, so that's kind of why I wanted to do that but yeah I had a lot of fun writing about this prompt myself so I thought it would be a good week for, for Gemini alright Anyway, let's get into the reading so we can get into the fun stuff. Anyway, let's start off with number one, which is um, you right now. So we have the Empress in reverse. The Empress in reverse is no fertile ground where the new can grow. No energy or creative process, nothing being created. No um, sensuality or... Um, destruction, no joy of the senses. So there's a destructive um, action to your life force. I feel like you don't have any ideas or you don't have any projects that you're really looking forward to. I feel like you're in routine or you're just totally like you're over it. You're just like the holiday season and everything just, you know, exhausted you this week. So, you know, I feel your pain. I, I'm a little bit under the weather, too. I was out doing some shopping and stuff and just, you know, didn't feel too good about it. I had to get some more coffee. You know, it's, it's a thing. Anyway, so number two. I was about to say four. Number four is fun. Um, but, yeah, number two is week's theme week's theme is going to be the page of pentacles the page of pentacles is not receiving or not offering something valuable not good timing to grow something um, not being focused on material growth no job no money opportunity no energy to create or add value a no solid opportunity on the horizon so there is really nothing happening. I feel like you're just kind of, you know, just kind of drifting um, until you find something or you find something worthwhile, you know, which does happen to the best of us. I know that. Um, so we have number three with challenge. The challenge of the week is going to be the two of pentacles in reverse. You have a lot of reverses. Um, so, there might be a little bit of blocks here and there. So, your challenges could be a block. Um, so, not adapting to the ups and downs. No flexibility. Difficult to balance things. Not considering the options. Not accepting a, an unstable situation. A more stable situation. Calm waters. No flexibility. So, there's really nothing that... Um, you can do about that. It's either you're flexible enough to get a job or flexible enough to do a project. And if you're not, then it's just kind of like you don't really get high level positions either. So it's kind of like you kind of have to put yourself out there. Um, if you're at a job and, you know, they ask you to do a bunch of different things. So... Anyway, we have number four, the fun one. We have the Six of Cups for a lesson to remember. So this is something from the past. We have beautiful memories. 
memory of the past, something to remember, innocence and purity, childish love, um, feeling safe and protected, good feelings, everyone and everything from the past, a memory of the past you're living within. Um, so, this could have been about formal uh, relationships and, you know, innocent love or like school days or something. But you're thinking way back on that and being like, oh, I should have done this or I should have done that. I should have actually took that into more of a, you know, serious scenario or whatever. But, um, yeah, I feel like there's something that you're missing and it's getting to the point where everything in your life kind of is at a, at a stalemate. So, let's see. We have number five with the lesson you will learn this week. Which is the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is no new opportunity. No good um, foresight. No... No focus on growth, no passion, no exciting opportunity. So you're just kind of like lolling about, you know, you're just, there's nothing to do, you know. Um, but I feel like everybody else is kind of doing stuff and you're just kind of in the background not doing much, you know. And it might actually be getting to you, you know, so you're just kind of panicking. Um, but I feel like that happens to everybody, so just... Just a little about for a minute, you know, you don't have to be too crazy, but just, just take a minute to yourself, you know. Anyway, the gift you give yourself this week is going to be the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is no regrets. Not doing something that you may regret. You will not regret what you're doing right now. Not being worried about the long haul. So there's something here that you're just like, you know, just in a wait a minute for, you know. Just, just in a wait until something happens or something comes up or you get an idea. You know. It might take a while. It might take a very short time. But it just, you know, you have to feel motivated to do something. And I feel like your motivation might be in the short supply because of the holiday season. Okay, so it might come back very soon. Um, so your channel message is you will pull through. Um, I feel like it's, it's going to take probably a week to get back to full energy and full recon. But I feel like, you know, you just need moments of rest. You don't really need to do too much. Okay, so what you bring forward is feeling held down, responsibility, rules, um, binding, and possession. So you might feel like you're, you know, not a hundred percent okay with yourself. You're holding a lot back. You're restraining probably feelings or what you really want to do or what you're kind of being pulled to do. You might feel like you're stuck in a dead dead end job. I feel like that's a lot of people. So it's just, you know, it's a matter of what you feel is necessary in your life, okay? So, you know, if you don't feel like it's necessary, then, you know, you can leave. I'm sure you can leave. Don't want to be in toxic situations. Anyway, um, we have what you need to know. We have a relationship, a marriage commitment, man doing domestic roles, and masculine energy. It could also be women. But if you have a lot of masculine energy, like, you could be, um, kind of doing more of, like, home stuff. Uh, or, you know, just working on the house. I feel like that's kind of like what domesticated means. The stuff around the house. Uh, and then we have good luck, uh, power, strength, uh, persistence, good luck, wish fulfillment, human strength, life, truth, shining light on darkness. So, 
there is going to be some things going on. I feel like it's either you're with somebody or you're in a partnership or something. And I feel like this is stuff that your partner's thinking about. Um, or what, what might be coming on the horizon, okay? So they might be doing like a bit of a, a bit of a thing, you know? So, let's see. Uh, what will affect your future? We have patience, uh, longevity, slow and steady wins the race, protection, guarded, uh, moving through challenging times. I feel like there's going to be a lot. Of challenging times and I feel like you might feel like you're behind the eight ball a lot of times somebody else is gonna do something and then you're gonna try to do the same thing and not be very successful with it um, I do feel like you're not a hundred percent sure what you should be doing which like I said before Gemini I had readings uh, like two years <laughs> two years ago that were $10, and it was a full chart reading for personal readings. So if you needed that, you should have done that then. Um, I don't think I'm going to do this uh, again. Because I got like 50 people every day that wanted one of those, and it was fun. But it gets a little bit too much when you had to work, you know. So that's one of those things. Anyway, Gemini, I will see you in the next reading hopefully everything works out and um yeah I, I feel like you need to get inspired very soon because I feel like it's it's going to be needed all right um and be a part of projects and things like that because I feel like um it'll help you get motivated okay um anyway I will see you in the next reading all right later